Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. I think Dory's a little warm, so she's uh, trying to get her her little butt into uh, her water dish to cool off a little bit. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to help her out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in. And or then we're going to move her big booty and then uh, we're going to fill it and uh, sort of slide it uh, where it's level. Huh. I know, I know you don't like to be uh, bothered. Huh. Now remember, big snake, long reach. Come on, uh, come on, sweet. Yeah, I know, I'm bothering you, huh? I know. I know, come on. Come on. Come on, stop dragging your big butt. I'm not going to take you out. I'm gonna reposition you. Come on, yes, if you move, that will be helpful. Okay. That's pretty darn good. Okay. Now relax. No reason to get excited. So this is what I like using these gentle giants for, not, not grabbing snakes, although it's useful in some cases. Okay, this is going over your head, but it's not going to hurt you. Relax. I knew that would upset her. Relax. Okay. You gonna come out and visit? No, you don't have to come out and visit. Pupils got very big suddenly. Yeah, she's she's upset. That is a big snake. Yeah, she is a big girl. Um For a stroll. No, she's really pissed off. She wants to come out because I'm annoying the crap out of her right now. Huh. What? You too? I don't want you out here on this dirty floor. the hook out from under that big booty is... No, you can't come off the hook. Who do you think you are, a forest cobra? There.
not going to work. Yell if she tries to make a break for it. doing up there, Sandy. Yeah, because of her size and weight, she really sort of needs to be on a lower cage. Um, but the uh, put her on the lower cage, you know. We very seldom visit the snakes in the lower cages. Come here. I know. I know I'm annoying you. Come on. That's what you want. Have some water. Now I have a big wet slug. Yeah, look at her. She's trying to climb uh, to avoid the semi-aquatic snake. Avoids water like uh, uh, like cats avoid water. Take a dip in your pool. Come on, I'm leave you alone. Come on, isn't that what you really wanted? No, you didn't want to sit in that little cramped bowl, did you? Yeah, I did. That water's cold. The water that was in there earlier was warm. There you go. All right. Now I'll leave you alone. Maybe you will uh, decide to climb in the water dish and have a soak. Her on the table and try to stress her as little as possible. 
can work as fast as possible. She does not at all like to be messed with. Uh, like most venomous snakes, uh, so we will try to make this a, a short and sweet uh, 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 deal. Literally. girl and stay put. that out uh, with Clorox and such. No, don't even think about that. But I'm not going to intervene yet because uh, you don't seem like you're, you're going to head off the table just yet. Oh, you are, huh? sit and relax and not be difficult. Uh-huh. Come on. Stay right there. No one's going to bother you. I know that's like I should be talking to the wall, but Right on 
vipers uh, are easy to stress out. I really don't like doing this, but it comes to the point you have to change the, their bedding, especially because uh, it smells a little ammonia-y and the dearly departed George has recently departed. So this is absolutely a necessity. I, ideally, putting her in a bottom cage. A Tory, come on. Come on, no. I just think putting her in a tub relatively stressful also. I'll try to get this done. Get her back in here as quickly as I can. Successfully, oh, one additional uh, attempt. Um, well, yeah, you just let me know if you decide she's going to move. Um, God, she's huge. Yes, you should have seen her stretched out. Quite the sight. I took a picture of it, so I'll post that later. I hate this rubber uh, oh, horn for in the sniper. It just, just doesn't. Brush? No. This brush is not going to help. Okay. I really want my blue ones back upstairs. Well, bring them back upstairs. It's fine by me. They're dollar store items. You just have to remember to pick them up. That is quite a scale spread. Well, partially because she is uh, a lunker, but uh, also because she's pissed off and she's flying down. Yep. And you'd be surprised how fast she can move oh, for, yeah. for being a lunker like that. No doubt. People who don't bass fish, uh, a lunker is a bass that's over seven or eight pounds. Uh, I don't really remember when I weighed her last, uh, 
but uh, a couple hundred kilograms. So she's the heavyweight. What does that translate to pounds? Well, uh, one kilo is 2.2 .2 pounds. So, her last weight is up there on the wall. Um, I don't think I can use the brush, so just hit it with a hook and drag it out. I don't want to be any closer oh, I to that. Not. If you notice, I'm staying far, far away from the table. I know how fast they can turn and lunge. You know, that'd be a fact. On the floor, she made a beeline for under the uh, cages. Vision cages have these ridges, so they're quote unquote, you know, stackable and they sort of uh, lock together. Well, that may be true, but it really makes it a pain in the ass to clean them. Yeah, they ought to do the ribs on the outside and leave the inside untouched. Especially yeah. up around the uh, ledges there, they have got to do something about that so the snakes can't get up. Well, there. they'll never do that because. Um, they have to make all new molds and redesign things. And since the tracks for the glass are riveted, you need a place for the rivets to go. Mm -hmm. uh, the best thing you can do is, uh, before you put your snakes in, is you get the spray foam oh, good idea. and you put it in there. But it contains formaldehyde. Bad so, idea. So you have to. Uh, well, even letting it sit a week uh, or 10 days, there's still formaldehyde coming out of that stuff for quite some time. Well, she's not quite as flat as she was. That makes me wonder if she's getting ready to launch a you could do that. That's certainly not out of the question. All right, let me go get the uh, vacuum. Oh, oh, yeah, she's puffing, puffing. Can't do that. I have a
he's looking around the corner. Where'd he go? <laughs> What's the matter, Elvis? Did he take your lunch away? paper in her cage since she doesn't cook very often. Okay. Get rid of that. Want me to go down and get some? Please. No, I am not going to do a Tory cam, nor am I going to try to touch her tail. Sorry, I'm in a spoiler view. I want to sit down. Okay, if you can just lay them out, I'll watch her while I sit and rest my back. Play it in there. I'll make the slit for the, uh, the thermocouple. And what I'll do is I'll put the water dish. Good water dish. Try to shim it up with. something a small dish because sitting on that ridge will be unbalanced. I'm not sure how thick you want this, but you can put a reasonable amount on. They usually like to, uh, to push the substrate aside anyway.
guys. Glass, so I'll have to put in last because uh, she will have to uh, go in. I just can't get that much of a angry, aggravated snake yeah. in through a smaller opening. Here you can uh, film the craziness. Okay, you ready to go back in, girly, huh? Huh? Come on. Come on. You know, the first thing she's going to do is poop. Of course, that's what I was thinking after just saying she never poops. We should use paper, and now she'll poop. Yeah, come on. Yes, I know, I know. Uh, Tori is not at all cooperative. Fun putting that glass back in. Uh, yeah. Uh, look, I don't want to tweak your tail, but it would be nice if you got it out of the way. There you go. Yep. I don't want her to strike the glass. 